Welcome back, guys. It's Tammy, and with me today, I have my best friend in the whole wide world. It's Jenny. Hello, everybody. And since today is Jenny's birthday, we are going to take a look at her amazing Animal Crossing Island. I'm headed there right now. Here it is. How amazing is this? And you obviously can already see it's Harry Potter themed. <laughs> yes. And Jenny is going to give us a tour of her Harry Potter Island. Look at this. How amazing is this? Oh, look, there she is! She's waiting for us! And this is only the little bit that you get for the flyover. Alright, here we are! Let's go see Jenny. Um, best place to start is actually over at the... We'll start here. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome to King's Cross Station! Cool. So this is King's Cross Station. Everyone knows where King's Cross Station is, obviously. Yep, yeah, so we wait to take our train. And this is Platform 9 and 3 quarters. So cute. <gasps> it's the Hogwarts Express and there's people! It's really good if you get <gasps> the if you get the lower angle, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. It wasn't what doesn't want to stay. But there are people and snacks and other things in here. This is awesome. And put your favorite hair in there. Looks, looks like you're on the train. It does look like I'm on the train! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hogwarts Express! Alright. And I designed that, the, the face that you're, the train face that you're looking at. This right here? With all the H's on it, yeah. I designed that myself. Oh, look how big this train is. Way down here. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, where to next? Um, we'll go to Diagon Alley. Okay. Does sound good? Oh, we gotta take a real quick trip over here to the Leaky Cauldron. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Let's get, get a drink. Some butter beer, green butter beer today, because I don't know. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. You can be green if it <laughs> wants to be. Perfect. Get off the seat. There we go. Look over here's a little night bus station. <gasps> the night bus station! It's really small right now. Oh, I, I love it. Look, it even says night bus on it. All right. I love it. Can you wave my wand? Ooh! Perfect. That's my house, everyone. I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a Gryffindor. This is Diagon Alley. Or at least the outside part of Diagon Alley. This is wizarding, wizardly wheezes, you know. Look at this. Weasley Wizard and Weezes, if I say it properly. <laughs> um, this is Madame Malkin's over here, and you get to meet one of my new residents. That's Sherb right there. I just got him a couple weeks ago. He looks like he belongs to Slytherin. He has chosen to wear a Slytherin outfit, which, by the way, go into this robe, robe shot right here. That's the one I wanted to do. Or the Able Sisters. All right. You can pick out your own robe if you want. Okay, get in the door. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked over tables. Yeah, you did. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, um, that. I designed all those too. I had help with the internet, but still. Um, you can come into my Ables and buy your own outfits. Um, which it takes time, but anyone can really learn. It's just pixel art. It's not terribly difficult, but it just takes some time. And also, the way they do pixel art in this is kind of wacky sometimes. So you can kind of see, like, in the Gryffindor tie where it, like, connects weirdly. And then, like, you can delete out those empty boxes. <laughs> Can I wear it now? Uh, yep, yeah, you gotta go into your patterns. Which is... <laughs> that one. If only I knew what I was doing in this game. <laughs> well, according to my Switch, I've played it for 1200 hours. There we go! <laughs> I'm adorable! I still have pants on. That's okay. Uh, headshot, move out of my way. Yeah, Sonic. 
I mean, <laughs> Sonic's mom. Sable? I thought that was Sonic's Mabel. Sonic's cousin, Mabel. Sonic's Mabel's cousin. Sonic's cousin. Yeah. They're all Sonic's Nintendo cousin. games. Um, and this is over here is more Diagon Alley. It's a whole nother house that I built. Completed. All loans paid off. This looks like <laughs> it might be the Daily Profit. Because... Well, the Daily Profit's outside. Well, that was, okay, outside more, the Daily Profit. It's more Diagon Alley, like where you have the specialty shops. Okay. Let's see these specialty shops. Ooh! Like, if you turn, like, you can do a rotate around the room. Like, just with your... Oh, there yep. you go. Um, so, Flourish and Blots is over here. And you can see the sign for Nocturne Alley. It's down in the basement. Oh. I'll have um, to go check that out. <laughs> Flourish and Blots. Alright, let's go. Let's go! So Flourish and Blots is a bookstore. Oh. It's very obvious. Yeah, it is. I figured... See that lovely jewelry thing? Even there's bookmark charms and stuff like that. There's so many books everywhere. Amazing. And that's just the cash register. Oh, I love it. You'll see a lot of tushies in my island, That's a butt too. crack. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, let's see the next area. Uh, if you come over by me over here, we've got um, the Magical Menagerie where you can get your familiar, if you wish. <gasps> yes. Oh, let's go. Oh, wrong way. There's a lucky koi right there, too. Magical Menagerie. I didn't make everything. Some of these I did find. Um, like I found Mena Magical Menagerie um, on the kiosk to find certain things. I made some of them. I didn't make all of them. Like I told you, it's time consuming. <laughs> it takes a lot of talent, and I don't have. Ooh. So there's lots of creatures in here. That's a spider. We're going to stay away from that one. <laughs> We're going to hang out here with the hamsters. There's birds and fish and turtles Hi, and turtle. hamsters. And there's the tiger over there. It's a little cat. You have cat trees. And there's crookshanks back there. He kind of looks like a pillow. Oh, yeah. If you, like, pan up, you can kind of see him a lot better. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him. All curled up in there. That's crookshanks. Aww. We're just gonna. That's a wolf. Yeah, that's the motherly statue. Okay. I'm and that's a real one, by the way. Oh. You can tell because its <laughs> its tongue is in its mouth. <laughs> the fake ones, the tongue sticks out. That's a cute bird. You'll see a lot of extra art on my island because I visited Red a lot to get the things that I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Heading back out. And in the back, you'll see... I saw the sign. All of it. Everybody knows that sign. <laughs> Let's go pick us a wand. Um, yes, please. And I had a lot of help getting the wands from um, my friend uh, Stella at work. Wow. So... Is that a lead pipe? That's a wand? That's a wand. It's the it's the metal wand. That one looks like a lightsaber. Like a very short lightsaber. That's not a wand. That That's... is a light stick. You got them on um, New Year's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it looked wandly enough for me. So, mm -hmm. But everything else is a wand. Like even the, there's the St. Patrick's Day wand that just came out not too long ago. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you have the bug off and the fishing tournament wands that you can get from CJ and Flick. I have my wand. Right here. <laughs> I never got the spooky <laughs> wand. It only, I guess it's only fitting that I walk around with my wand now that I've picked it. Yeah, you can go um, upstairs next too if you want. Alright, let's head upstairs. Alright, I've got my wand. And we're going to head upstairs to see what's up here. And then we'll head to the basement to Nocturne Alley. Because who doesn't at least want to see what goes on in those? So <laughs> this is my optical shop. It directly correlates to what I do for work in real life. <laughs> Damn. So, um, I, there's obviously, there's, this isn't even half of the glasses that you can get in the game. There's a lot of glasses in game that you can get. 
Um, and you can see all my glasses and sunglasses on the walls and my little like optical um, area where they can sell you glasses and where they can fix your glasses. And they obviously have a dispensing license on the wall. Yeah, they we do. we got to be official. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> And I designed the eye chart. The eye chart was one of the first things I designed. Um, yeah. Wow. I feel like I could get glasses here and be fine. Like <laughs> <laughs> We'll sell you some top-notch glasses here. Super official. <laughs> Dog on Alley. <laughs> if you, yeah. If your Animal Crossing character needs glasses, you know where to come. Because look at this. Official. Wow. All right. Let's... Let's go, uh... Downstairs in the basement! Yes. Some sneaky business. Sneaky, sneaky business. Down those stairs. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Downstairs, I made sure it was, like, extra creepy. So we got Borgen and Burks. Okay. Let's... Which, of course, is where Harry Potter first gets his little taste of nocturnality when he does the flu powder. Um, and I had creepy bugs... And creepy sea creatures because they provide light. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if you keep turning, you'll see over on this wall there's the glowing jack. <gasps> yep, I like this <laughs> clock. is really cool. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just, I'm sitting. It's but... <laughs> just a regular in-game item. It's uh, the antique clock in the black finish. Very nice. And then nice. I tried to put creepy stuff up on the walls, like the that mask that's up in the corner. Up oh. There. Um, they're just regular in-game things. And of course I had to have the bird with the armoire yep. for when they did the room of requirement. And then if you go across the hallway. Which we will once I figure out how to get out of there. There. There's all right. the potion shop that I have. And if you look on the walls, those are all more things that I found. I'm going to turn the other way. There you go. So those are like a bunch of potions on the wall that you can buy. Wow. Creepy. And of course the creepy, creepy, <laughs> creepy <laughs> anatomical. And look, someone's brewing up some potions. This is amazing. And look, there's gillyweed on the ground. Someone just leaves a gillyweed on the ground. And I like, I like that thing with the hands on it because it makes it like, like, like the, the someone that assassinated people. And they kill them with <laughs> their bloody handprint on there. <laughs> and they're just waiting to kill KK Slider because that's his signature in the middle. On is the it? Oh, KK, and it's. Mm, KK needs to be careful. KK needs to be careful. I love it. This is amazing. And if you if you just had all this just out, it looks like a collection of junk. But, but put it all together <laughs> and turn the lights off. You got yourself a nocturne alley. <laughs> you just uh, disappeared. Yes, because I just You left. walked right into that koi fish and just... Gone. It's because I am a spectral <laughs> being. I am really just a ghost. I've hung out too many days with Wisp. Uh -huh. You see me? I just went up that little swamp All right, right there. We're gonna... This is the way to get to... Oh. Gringotts. Gringotts. So it looks impressive from the outside, but everyone knows it's just the museum. Yeah. <laughs> but you have your little elves, goblins, gnomes. Goblins? Goblins, I think. Yeah. I don't know. They're gnomes in the game, but still. Collecting your money, counting your money, everything like that. Perfect. Which you want? And then we have the vault back here if you want to look at the secret entrance. Uh, back there. I went behind the tree, yes. But you can... Oh, sorry. You can't look at it. I can't. Well, we can kind of see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can see it there. There we go. Oh, there's a dragon back there! Oh, no! And all the riches! and everything else that's actually really cool he's protecting all the treasure lots and lots of gold nuggets were required for that everyone so we, that was not even open no, that's fine we'll see it at different angles i'm sure all right so we can go over here next look there's a little flower area my beaches are pretty nice but they're kind of boring they're just traditional things oh look oh oh look it's it's fluffy. Oh, it's a three fluffy. <laughs> Click this. Let's, let's play him a tune. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's lovely. And then okay. we go to the dragon snare. If only I could. 
jump. Okay. <laughs> and then the uh, oh wow. Keys. Once again, it was a lot of visiting Flick. Oh, this is amazing. We gotta get the wing key to get to the next section. I like to imagine it's a blue one because it's the prettiest. <laughs> Where do we go now? Over here? Over here, to wizard chess. <gasps> wizard, oh my god, look at wizard chess. I told you, there's a lot of art. And a lot of it's real. Wow. <laughs> Wizard Chess is looking a little badass. Wow. And then, what's the last part after that? You gotta go do Snape's challenge. Potions! Oh look, there's more of the yep. vault that you can <laughs> it's see. more of the vault. Snape's challenge. You gotta drink your potion. And then jump down the tube. Okay. Down the tube we go! <gasps> oh my <laughs> god! A full lava room, like in Harry Potter Lego. That's just the way I imagine it. And then you got um, Professor Quirrell over here with his turban on in front of the mirror. And then right <laughs> over there you have the um, the stone. Wow. The stone. Um, Absolutely amazing. Sorcerer's Stone. Flosser's Stone is the European version. Um, and you'd want to jump back through the tube, because if you don't, you're just going to get stuck. Yeah, no, that's fine. We're going to go back through the tube. Because we defeated Quirrell, and we're on our way back! Alright, welcome back! We did it! We beat him! If you start in the dream, if you get the dream address, um, you're going to start over here. Well, KK's not going to be here, but today's... My birthday's on Sunday. KK shouldn't be here. He's here for your okay. birthday. It's fine. Oh, KK's here for my birthday. Careful, KK. Someone's trying to kill you. Someone's trying to murder you, KK. <laughs> um, there's a wand and hat and robes over here that you can all use yeah, if, if you want. Yeah, if you want the dream code, it'll be in the description. Or I can put it up on the screen for you, too. Maybe we'll do that. We'll put it in both places in case you miss it. Dun, da, da, there it is on the screen! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where to next? Um, we can go Privet Drive. Okay. So, let's go around KK. See you, KK. Privet Drive. So this here is Privet Drive. Look, there's a little sign right there. It's awfully windy. I have, I have that trike over there in the back, kind of be reminiscent of um, Hagrid's bike. Okay. This is Kiki's house. Awesome. And obviously, this is the Dursley's house, because look uh, at all those all the letters. letters. <laughs> this is actually Raymond's house, but still. And I, like I figured it. that Aunt Petunia would definitely have red roses, because she's pretentious like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is Zucker's house. And then here we have a little black dog. Is that <gasps> serious? Oh, it's serious! And then we're gonna go down this little way here. This way? Oh. You know, because after they leave Privet Drive, they go across the water. <gasps> it's Harry's cave! To go to the cabin where they meet Hagrid! And he goes, you're a wizard, Harry! Oh my god, look at his kick and it's all smashed up! <laughs> oh, because I didn't survive the bike ride. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. And here's a little pig nose for when oh. like, Hagrid turn, um, turns Dudley, Dudley into, into a pig. A pig. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we can go down over here and we can visit the Ministry of Magic. You need to go in that way, right where you are. Right here? Yeah. There you go. <gasps> Through the phone booth. Oh, Ministry of Magic. <laughs> so you come in through flu powder. Or you can take your um, umbrella, like Mary Poppins would, mm -hmm. and then you have your big old fountain here. Yep. And then over here, you have the interrogation chamber. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh wow. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> Oh. You survived. You survived your interrogation. I survived my interrogation. 
Now we have to escape. You can also leave. Well, I guess it wouldn't be nice to leave via toilet, but you can get there via toilet <laughs> as well. Um, we're going to save that other area. Okay. For, like, another, for the end. Got it. Um, so we're going to go back through here, I guess. This is the Black Lake, I think it's called. Oh, yeah. Like the mermaids, where they do the try with a tournament, mm -hmm. and Harry has to save Ron and Hermione, because he loves both of them. I mean, he doesn't have to, but he does, and he ends up saving Flair's sister, or tries to. Yeah, it, it would have been nice if they kind of explained things, too, because that really caught Harry off guard. Yeah. Um, this is Hagrid's house. You can certainly go in and explore if you want, but look over there, there's Buckbeak. Oh, Buckbeak! You're alive, my dude. Yeah. Look, they have the axe right there ready to chop his head off. No! Spoiler alert, they don't. <laughs> Hagrid's house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hagrid's house is obviously going to have creatures and bugs in it because Hagrid loves all the creatures and bugs. Oh my god. Okay, um, let's, uh... He's got... That thing's cool. The That's like a little bug bug cage um, purse that you can get during the bug off. Wow. Yeah. Hagrid. And that's his dragon egg. That's Norbert? He's not hatched yet, but yeah. Oh, wow. Hagrid would totally have all the creatures. He would have all the creatures. He's got... And all the wood furniture. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. And he's got a goldfish on his table. That's not a bowl of soup. That's a bowl of goldfish. It's a bowl of goldfish. That giant one? Yeah. There's a goldfish in there. That's the way goldfish look if you put them out. Oh. They're, it's a, de a decorative bowl. Crazy. Okay, there's a goldfish in that bowl. FYI, Did not know. everyone. Okay, we're going to head to the back room? Yeah, that's Haggard's bedroom. All right, let's go check out Haggard's bedroom. Mm. Haggard's bedroom would definitely have creatures in it. Of course, more creatures. And a spider, because they're his favorite. Ugh, I know. And I do like the candle. Oh, and by the way, everyone, this is how small a whale shark model is. Yeah, that's kind of... I hate that. Whale sharks are massive. They're disappointingly small. Yep. And there's his pink umbrella. That's amazing. Wand. Pink umbrella wand. And I figured also Hagrid would be the one that would wear a bowling shirt. Oh, definitely. <laughs> that would be his fancy <laughs> dress-up shirt when he's not wearing his dress robes. Mm -hmm. Like, if he needed to go buy something from Diagon Alley and he just happens to be dre walking through London, he would definitely wear his bowling shirt. Yes. And a shirt with llamas on it. Yep. Probably um, that giant from that other school would have so knit it for him. Yep. I can't think of her name. It's Madam something. Madam, yeah. I can't think of it either. Oh, we're bad Harry Potter fans. Leave us leave us a comment down below with what her name is. Yeah, because we're <laughs> bad Harry Potter fans and can't think of it right now. No, we're just we're just entirely too old. Okay. And I have that room over there blocked up because you don't want to go in there. No, so that's fine. We are going to... So you're all done with Hagrid's, Hagrid's house. Hagrid's house. Yep. If you want to go over... Do you want to do um, Hogwarts or the Enchanted Forest? Ooh, Enchanted Forest. Enchanted Forest, okay. Enchanted Forest is this way, my dear. All right. Right here by Hagrid's house. Oh, perfect. Um, it's really, really cool at night because all those little mushrooms glow. Awesome. Um, and, oh, oh, there's a house in the woods here. Whose house would that be? Oh. Julian's house. He's the only unicorn oh, in the game. <laughs> yes, Julian, you little unicorn. He's not home right now, or else you can go in his house. Yeah, um, that's fine. And then here's a little lake with um, a Patronus. Oh. And look, there's a um, Dementor in the back there. Oh. Yep, we gotta be careful of that. Stay away from the Dementors. Yep, stay away from the Dementors. Jump over this water here. This is the campsite in the last book, second to last book. Oh yeah, where they are on the oh, run. I'm standing on it. That's the Horcrux, the locket, and that's a Harry's broken wand. Oh. Yeah, where well, they're waiting for Ron to come back because Ron runs away. Yeah. Ron needed to clear his head. He, was he did. A hard time. Yeah. Such a liberty is in the background. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice her over there. But there she is. God bless America. <laughs> uh, hop over this little river right here. We're at our little astronomy area. 
Ooh, very nice, very nice. That's an in-game pattern, everyone, that's on this pillow. Oh. So y'all need to talk to Sable and get some in-game patterns. She'll love you for it. And very then this cool. is a little herbology area. Oh, that crab is moving. He is moving. Just ever so slightly. Yeah. I figured it's right down from Hagrid's house. Maybe oh. Hagrid has some creatures that he leaves behind. He creeps me out a little. He is a spider crab. Yeah, and I know you don't like spiders. I was just thinking if we, if, uh, like, you know, so Aragog. This is the herbology area. Alright. Ooh, cool. Where you can, um. Look at all your bees. Yeah. Where you can deal with your mandrake. This is cute. It's the bam bamboo noodle slide. That's I actually just made that today. That's awesome. Yep. Yep, we can do all of our potion herbology thing. I'm gonna take a seat, I guess. Okay. And I designed that stained glass too. You that did? It wasn't that difficult. That's all. It just so looks like it should be difficult. Oh. So yeah, it's the Hogwarts symbol all in flowers. It's the Hogwarts crest. Yes. How many hours did I do creating <laughs> hybrids? I'm gonna guess a whole lot. Hybrids. Thanks everyone that helped me. <laughs> um, and then this is Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Yeah. Turn around. I want a picture. Turn around. Okay. Okay. I got one. <laughs> All right. I my switch. Okay, guys, we are going to head into Hogwarts. I am super psyched for this. Let's go. I'm only outside me. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So obviously this is the Great Hall. And you have all the floating candles and all the Hogwarts um, house, house flags. Very cool. And on the back wall you have, well, that's the Hogwarts crest with all the houses. And on the back wall, you have all the crests for all the houses. Okay, so I guess let's... And these walls I change out for each season. Like, I just changed out the prom season wall for this one, because I figured it's kind of later. Well, I could probably have left prom season up, because it's still prom season in most places. In Sorry. fact, when my prom came around, even though I didn't go, it was on my birthday. Hmm. Okay, let's start... Um, what do you want to do, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff? Um, let's go... Do or alternately, you can do Dumbledore's office. Let's do Dumbledore's office first. Dumbledore's office is in the back. Okay. And into Dumbledore's office. Dumbledore's office. I love Dumbledore's office. I always have to fiddle and uh, figure out which... How to make it look better. Wow. Uh, yeah, you've got the sorting hat over there. Right here is a baby fox that just, like, emerged from its ashes. Um, and, of course, Dumbledore has candy in his office. Mm -hmm. um, he's got all of the art for all of the paintings in his office, all the past teachers. And, look, there's Rover's picture. That just came out this um, May for the May Day <laughs> event. Um, and then he has his fancy wizard robes. And uh, wow. when he's really tired, he can take a nap on the floor. Yeah, because some of those offices like everything to him. Yep. It's a cute little tree in the back there. Yep. And I had Adam purple because for some reason I think purple is Dumbledore's favorite color. You might be right. I mean, I feel like. Really Same cool. thing. Hey, leave us more comments in the bottom if Dumbledore's favorite color isn't purple. <laughs> yeah, let us know. But I feel like it's gotta be. <laughs> right? So. Um, and also, it matched the rug. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I think we're going to do Let's let's represent the Hufflepuffs. I'm, I got a I got a couple Hufflepuff friends. I have a few Hufflepuff friends too. And, Shout out to the Hufflepuffs. Yeah, and I think we should go check them out yeah, cuz I is over I here. think they get neglected a lot. It's not like I didn't neglect Hufflepuff. They're All right. they're they're good. They've got some real art in their place and some fake art, but still they have Woo! some real art. Hufflepuffs, um, look at you. They obviously have their yellow theme. I wanted to keep it more more lively and keep a little bit of the black out. They've got a little bit of black in there. Um, but they obviously have... They're right by the kitchen, so they've got fruit and tea and 
cross stitch because you know someone in Hufflepuff house cross stitches while they're sitting right in front of that fire nice and cozy yeah um lockers to put their stuff in <laughs> i love it hufflepuffs if you are a hufflepuff you let us know how you like your your common room let us know how jenny did because i think this is and of great. course they've got the little game over there of go oh yes yeah. They Look at that. Totally sit by the window, play some games, stay warm by the fire, and drink some tea. And of course, it's a school, so they have a desk to do homework with. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, Hufflepuffs, like I said, you're Hufflepuff, let us know. Next yeah. is Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw's next, which is just across the... Co- the, the Great uh, Hall? Great Hall. All right, so there's a lot of little things in Ravenclaw, because I'm obviously Ravenclaw. I didn't want to overdo it, but I really love the walls. Those are the wedding walls. Um, They've got certificates because they're known to be very smart and that kind of thing. Um, And then obviously they've done their homework and brewing up some potions in their spare time. Lots of books, because you know that they like to read. And of course, because I got to represent my... um, Fellow Ravenclaw, there's a quibbler down here for <laughs> Luna. Oh, yeah, look at that. Because <laughs> she would totally have a stack of quibbler right in the common room so everyone could have one. And then the diadem is up there on the wall, too. Yeah, look at that. She totally would have a stack just waiting. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> All right. Same thing. If you're a Ravenclaw, let us know in the comments. How uh, Jenny did on your common room, and if you would totally hang out here. I know I would. Dude, I'm like, I'm not a Ravenclaw, and I'd hang out here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got um, Slytherin's downstairs, and then Gryffindor's upstairs. All right, so. let's let's go downstairs. Let's save my house for last. <laughs> All right, Slytherin. Try to keep spooky vibes. There's a house elf over in the corner. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's obviously spider webs because they're in the dungeons. They've got some, um, Slyther- Slyther and Silver suits of armor. <laughs> Forgot that word. Um, and then they've got creepy things in cages. And they're brewing up potions because they are, um, Snape's. Yep, they are. They Snape's are. Snape's house. So, obviously... If he had his way, he'd make sure the potions were brewing all the time. Very cool. And of course, they're good, and they put their boots on the mat. Aw. See, they're not all bad. Yeah. Okay, Slytherins, you know what to do. Ooh. I really enjoy this couch. Oh, yeah, that's the... Oh, it's a sofa. I forgot what they're called. Either way, I really enjoy it. (laughs) That's a cute little house. And he, a lot of the sea creatures that are in here were just really lights because I didn't want too bright of illumination, but I wanted it bright enough so that you, you could can see, see what you were doing. Because it's not fair to those poor Slytherins being stuck in the dungeons all the time. They deserve light. So. They do. <laughs> all right. As before I got distracted, Slytherins, you know what to do. Comments, let Jenny know if you'd hang out down here. I can't get out. You gotta go up the <laughs> stairs. It's beautiful. So Gryffindor common room. Obviously, you got your red and your gold, and um, I have an art, art, artisanal, artisanal. I don't know. I have a bug cage over here in the corner because I figured that'd probably be a good habitat for um, Trevor, not yeah. his toad. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> um, and then there's cats. There's a black cat. I'm assuming it's someone's familiar. One of the younger students. Over by the bookshelf. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just We've got desks. Chill in. you got desks and stuff like that, so you can send an owl via owl post next time you're in Hogsmeade. We can hang out with this cat. Mm-hmm. Sup, dude? Hey. And I put this little mirror here, I think, too, so you can um, do your transfiguration, see so your swish and flicking. Heck, yeah. Wrong button. Very swish cool. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. Don't, don't move my furniture, Tammy. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And of course, 
They really all need bookshelves. But... Yeah. I can say, as a Gryffindor, I would totally hang out here. Yeah, aren't they in the towers? No. Ravenclaw's in the towers. Ravenclaw's in the towers. But I figured they probably had pretty good views. And if not, they're magic windows. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I keep hiding my face. Okay. We love it. Let's continue our journey. Let's leave. Yeah, you can leave Hogwarts now if you want, and I'll show you the secret way through the library to get to Hogsmeade. Okay, secret library it is. Let's go. It's just right here. Look, there's this crunched up old man. The statue that you have to go behind. Oh, and all look, right. Here's the library. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not know how many books that I had to <laughs> get to build this library. This is the one part of my library, of my island that has been here. It's, it's just, I've moved it 500 times. I've built so many extra bookshelves, but it had to be a true, beautiful library. We should see the downs. Oh, look, here's Lucky. Oh, Lucky's my dog. <laughs> Lucky, my dog. Sorry, I just need to talk to Lucky for a second. He's the one guy that I've wanted on my island forever. And I can't get him. He just eludes me. He plays this game with me. <laughs> Lucky, you know I love you. And then I'm I will over, stalk you. I'm over here by right. the forbidden <laughs> book section. I'll Ooh. walk it up. We can go back up. Alright, but l Lucky? Lucky? Lucky, my dog? Come here, Lucky. Lucky. He's trying to sell you some books. Alright, let's go. I kissed him. <laughs> quick! Quick! Alright. And then we're over here by the Shrieking Shack, which I use as Lucky's house because Lucky's house inside is a graveyard. It is! Oh, Lucky, my dog. Shrieking Shack. Ooh. That's it's cool. It's a nice black house. Yeah. And it's all covered in weeds because no one comes up here because they're afraid they're going to get abducted like folks. Honeydukes is right here. I put some butterbeer out front because who needs, who doesn't want butterbeer? Right? And then, of course, um,. Right to the when you go in, there's gonna be three broomsticks as well. We're going in. Oh! Oh, I didn't know there was a cockroach. Kill it! It's gonna get the candy. No! Got it. Oh, hurrah right, for me! I got to get that cockroach. <laughs> you killed all the cockroaches. Not a very good establishment, but. <laughs> Um, so this is Honeydew wow. with all the candy, and I use the honey floor and the honey walls because Honeydew's, come on. How, I, I just couldn't not. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I tried to make it look like a straight up candy store, a wizard candy store. I would, and I look, would buy candy from there's here. There's, um, the chocolate frogs on the back wall there in Pretty Oh yeah, Box. look at that. That was another one that I found. Thank you for whoever created it for me. <laughs> I'm assuming you created it for yourself. But, um, <laughs> but thank you for putting I it up. I am using it. Thank you for posting it for me. Um, and this is where you'd come in and have some candy and have some tea that's entirely too sweet and hot cocoa. And yeah. It's amazing. And then you got three broomsticks over there. Okay, we'll head in. Three broomsticks is... A little more mature, I guess, for the older students or the people that actually live in Hogsmeade oh, just to come out and chill in. Very nice. Very nice. And then that Three Broomsticks um, custom code is also another one that I found. So thank you for whoever posted that. I appreciate you. I use those wooden deer a lot. I it's like just them. A, this is nice. And then it, it kind of all like goes together. You yeah, know, the wooden deer look nice. Yep. Wow. And those custom codes back there as well. Someone also posted all of those. Y'all are fabulous making these things that are so... I think they're difficult, and I appreciate you. Yeah. For creating them. All right. All right, so there's a little retro cafe over here. If you know who Meringue is, this is Meringue's cafe. She is a uh, rhinoceros that looks like strawberry shortcake. Very nice. Um, so I made it that kind of matches her. She's a really cute cafe. Um, and then we have another little flower area, because who doesn't want more flower areas? You can find maybe some ingredients for potions. And look, there's Owl Post! 
Oh my god, look how cute these owls are! I, I didn't create these owls that are in the front. They're owl dresses. You could certainly find them. Um, oh, those are dresses? Yeah. I just saw they were cute owls with top hats on! <laughs> <laughs> no, they're dresses that someone has created. You just put them out. Um, and then I created those little owl nests. nests. Yeah. I created all those Wow. Um, for the owls to all the three of them. And I've posted all of them too, so if you visit my island um, via dream code, if you go to the little kiosk in the resident services, you'll be able to find it. Back there is going to be Madame Puddifoot's tea house. Wow. This is where Cho Chang and uh, Harry go on a date in one of the books. Right? It, it has to be book five, the one right after the wizard tournament because yeah. that's after Cedric. Cedric. And that whole deal. That whole deal, yeah. Wow. Um, but it's it's, it's fancy. Fancy. <laughs> but that's Madame Puddifoot. It's, it's pink and fancy. And, and Tia is the Re that's oh, her house. The resident. That's Tia's house. Leave. I don't know where I am. You're still just hanging out last I knew over there. Oh yeah, there. right over here in the front. You have um quid quality Quidditch supplies. Ooh. So, oh. um, these sweaters back here, I didn't design, someone else designed them, but these robes I designed um, for the matches. Very cool. And I like to imagine that those butter churns, it's not really a butter churn, it's a wand stand. I mean, broom stand. Okay, yeah. Cleans your broom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there's a giant quaffle. Oh, yeah. And a giant um, bludger. Just a demonstrator bludger. Yep. Not a basketball and a yoga ball, everyone. Not at all. It's a bludger and a quaffle. Got it. Okay. <laughs> yes. And that's my sign to Hogsmeade that I made. That's I'm really, really proud cool. of it. Is where you play your Quidditch. Look at this Quidditch pitch. Yes, Quidditch. There's, people, there's a big old quaffle on the ground and some brooms. Well, well, meringue. Whoa. Frank's getting sassy. She wants to play some Quidditch. I have never played before. You woe it down, Meringue. Flying around here. And it's obviously it's so cool. it's a game between the Ravenclaws and the Slytherins. And Slytherins. Very I cool. choose my team to win, so. Go, Ravenclaws! Woo! <laughs> Us too. <laughs> back into my wizard robes. You guys right. too, let us know in the comments who wins the uh, Quidditch match between Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Go back up this way. And we're gonna go around the beach. Very typical beaches, nothing too wizardly about the beaches. Oh look, it's a little turtle egg hatchery. Oh, it is. oh <laughs> look at the babies! <laughs> Careful, we don't want to step on them. Don't step on the babies. Oh no. They're every okay. No, we didn't slip on they any of the babies. They are everywhere. And now we're coming up on. Do you want to do Azkaban or do you want to do the graveyard? Azkaban. Azkaban. Okay. We're gonna go this way towards the Azkaban. Look, it's the Azkaban beach. It's all covered in gross stuff and rocks and jump out that you gonna die. Look up here is Azkaban. <gasps> well, up there. Oh. Look, wow! The dementors up there on the top. It's really cool at nighttime because the lighthouse is turning and it's all creepy in the fog and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, no one wants to go hang out at Azkaban. Down here you have a ship that got all smashed up because the dementors came and smashed it. Scared all the killed all the pirates because pirates are not good people. Well, pirates can be good people. Yeah. It depends on the pirate. Pirates can be good people. <laughs> Let's go behind, and we're gonna go to the graveyard. So I guess this would be like Godric's Hollow, because this is Lily and James's grave. Oh. Uh, is that them, Lily and James, right there? That's in the Lily front? and James right there. <laughs> That's really uh, Cedric and his wife. I forgot her name. That's fine. Lily and James works. Lily and James. Lily and James. And I know in in the game or in the books this isn't connected. I know this for a fact. 
Um, but this is where they come after the try with a tournament and where Cedric dies. No! This is where Voldemort comes back! <laughs> I decided to go full on you scaring him. Um, we're gonna take a trip on the field bus. Dobby! He did, but he was a free elf, though! Here, let's Dobby a free elf. Oh. We're just having a cry fest over well, here yeah. on my island. Oh, and Dobby. That, okay. That's it, everyone. We all, we had to cry in the end. Yeah, that's the way to end a good tour. <laughs> okay, look, we're, we're back! back. Here to the beginning. Amazing! So again, if you guys want to visit Jenny's Island, we will put up her code. You guys can go join. Don't forget to leave comments if you are in any of the houses and let us know if you would hang out in your common room and let Jenny know how she did. Um, let her know how she did in general. Just do you love this island? And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. We love you all. Goodbye. Bye.